difficult for them. Here is the race, here the, the highlights. Uh, starting on pole, and it's been a bad day for Ahmad Fazli Sham. He started on pole and got off pretty well, and he was in this leading little group for, for quite a, a long time. Offendi was also alongside of him, but it looked like, as in race number one, this might just be a normal race. Competitive, but the events on that last chicane, Harmi. We're going to build up and build up to it. Norisman led at one stage, um, Fendi led at one stage. But talk us through the tactics of what the guys were thinking as they were going through these. Uh, well, these I, I, I thought that the uh, Petronas Wan Leong, uh, Yamati, and the Booth Rider had their own, their own uh, 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 tactic uh, when, when they win when they on the race. And especially for the two uh, Petronas Wan Leong, Yamaha uh, riders in front, they must have a special tactic. Uh, that they have their own uh, to ensure that they'll be in front. But this is uh, under Boon category. It's really uh, difficult to say that because they're going to be very close to each other. And you know, um, then now we have uh, the T Pro Yuzi Honda and Test Rider Amir Aris Musa uh, in front. So they keep on changing later in every lap, uh, every corner. A little bit of a shout out to Izzat Zaidi in the in the red livery. He he, he did well in both races, in both, in both races, race one and race two. At one stage, he led, and on both, he actually had, had, had to retire very early on. That's a, a key moment. This is when Gubita Krejna is just taken out accidentally, there's not uh, by Rosaiman. So Rosaiman, who's in a championship contender, and uh, Gubita Krejna taking each other out because it's so congested. Yes, indeed. And then uh, after that, uh, the battle goes on uh, to eight riders or six riders uh, in front. Um, well, once again, I think in the first race, we did not mention Fernando Hedian at all in the race, and he won the race. And in this race, uh, did we mention Kazuki Mazuki in the race? No, we didn't, because uh, again, he's in that little group there, Mazuki. He's at the tail end of that little group, but he's not involved. Same with, with Herdian. Maybe that's the answer. Keep out of danger, and, and you'll, you'll get a result <laughs> at the end. As we have uh, now, uh, yes, that's uh, uh, Masaki um, following uh, closely behind. In safely, as I can say, and this is uh, Izzat uh, having a problem uh, wide in the race, uh, in, the, in the corner. And this is once again, uh, that is uh, number 30, uh, is in front of 46, Vorapong. Vorapong. This is Vorapong. Vorapong made his yeah, move, Vorapong and we Vorapong. thought the Vorapong had timed it right. Yeah. Then they come into this home straight. It's all building up to the finale. Get ready for the chicane, folks. Get ready for the chicane, because this is where Mayhem can... Uh, uh, absolutely, Vorapong goes wide. Vorapong takes out um, uh, Effendi. So Effendi thinks he's come back to take third place. Effendi doesn't quite get third, but winning it by a hair's breadth is Mazaki. Norisman second. Herdian just getting ahead by 0.024 of a second of Effendi. And Boropong another 0.2 down. But there were wheelies galore. There was great fun had by all. But Kazuki Mazaki, the 13-year-old, he kept his nerve while all around them were unable to capitalize. It's a phenomenal performance from a young kid. Yeah, indeed for Kazuki Masaki. It must be a proud moment for him winning the race in uh, Atopolis 